<laughs> I'm back and uh, I finally got another boat and it's been a while I just haven't been checking in with you guys but uh, kind of getting out of my funk a little bit here more and more um, since Terry's death but uh, I got a new boat yay <laughs> and I'm going to show you it's a uh, 35 foot Ericsson and it's 1970 Mark II and its name is Shiloh. I was gonna rename it, but uh, when I found out that it meant the peaceful one or peaceful one, I decided that um, that was pretty representational of what I'm going through and what I need in my life, so I decided to keep it. All right, come with me and I'm gonna show you the boat inside and out. Okay, here she is. Now, a friend of mine, I bought this from a friend of mine, John, who got a job being a captain on a big mega yacht and he's living in pretty much in Florida all the time so the boat was out on a mooring ball and it wasn't uh, he wasn't using it so he thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to get into it uh, he did a lot of things to the boat the cosmetics need to be taken care of but he did prime like the cabin house here, which is going to need to be repainted coming up, and the decks will need to be repainted, which I'm going to have to do all of that. I'm not in the mood right now, but uh, it'll probably get taken care of eventually. And the, new, the sails are in really good condition. He had redone the stainless rigging, so that's all good. And then he got some gear hauer boom bang here. And he did a lot of upgraded stuff. But uh, I did the varnish, you see, on the combing here in the cockpit, which uh, I'll give you a better view of. Learning my varnish skills, so I've been actually doing pretty good with that. And it's a tiller, which I'm not totally used to yet. Much different than the boat that I came from, obviously, but it's great for me been having a lot of fun on it. It's weather, it just was sunny, I swear, just like half an hour ago. And look at this fog bank. This is my sled, by the way, which is completely awesome. Look, I have, well, you can't see because of the fog, but I have a pretty unobstructed view of the waterway coming down. There's a sailboat coming in there right now. It's a beautiful slip. I'm really happy. All right, that's my neighbor. Let's go down below, check it out. Hopefully it's not too dark. Oh, that's not too bad. You can kind of see that. There's the, it's got a god awful straight upholstery, but uh, I don't know. It's nautical. Some people like that. I'm not particularly fond of it. But it's kind of also growing on me, so we'll see. Okay, we're going to walk down here. Okay, here we go. Here's the galley. And uh, if, of those of you who are familiar with Ericsson's, you know, it's the pretty typical simple boat, really. Uh, right here is the ice box, which I had a party, sailing party, not too long ago, and I think I had some ice in there. Yep. Oops. I'm going to need to get rid of that water before that molds. That's my next project. And it's got a four-burner four burner stove, oven, and oven. So that's awesome because I love to cook, and I will be cooking again. Here's the main salon. Here's some of Vigor's art right here. And I uh, brought that with me. And scanning back now, here's the nav station. Sorry, it's a little messy. Uh, you know, it's hard to go from a 55 foot boat down to a 35 foot boat. I'm still having challenges with that. Here's the fridge, unless I want to convert the, my icebox to a refrigeration system, which I may do, may not. I don't know. I kind of like to keep everything simple, but uh, we'll see. And then my head here, but I'm not going to show you that because that's my garage <laughs> right now <laughs> with more clothes. I got a downsize still. There's my tiki guy, if you remember that. Some of the stuff got transferred. And last but not least, the V birth, which is really cozy. I love it. And I got my little TV DVD system set up right here, which is fun. I don't have much time to watch TV anymore, though. 
Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty simple. You know, it's got an, an the Atomic 4, which I know have, some people have controversy on, but uh, this one's been rebuilt. That was another reason why I went for the boat. And that uh, runs great and just seems to be a pretty simple system. Okay, so that was it. This is my new home and my new boat, and I'm really excited. I've uh, just been working a lot just to uh, get ahead and um, start, you know, trying to make my new life, figuring that out as I go. And, but it's been great. The com boating community has been wonderful, and uh, I just want to thank everybody. The support on YouTube has been wonderful too. And uh, I apologize if I don't get back to all the comments and questions and stuff. I just, uh, like I said, I'm just busy from morning until night taking care of my life. So, but I do appreciate all the followers and I and, uh, love you guys. And we'll I'll still keep going. And I've got maintenance stuff coming up. I've been getting busier and busier now that summer's here. Got a lot of waxes and still the projects on my boat to make it all pretty. Don't know what my future plans are yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep the boat. Uh, probably will for a while anyway. But work on it slowly and then maybe sell it later. Uh, we'll see. But uh, time will tell and um, I'll get back with you guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Love you.